Okay. So take me through the process. At the point that somebody gets infected, yeah. what happens day by day, week by week? Right. So you're gonna get you're gonna contract, let's say you just contracted the virus. You might be asymptomatic for you know, anywhere from five to twelve, up, you know, up to up to two weeks. Okay, and by asymptomatic, that means that means nothing. 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 No at cough. All. No fever. Nothing. No. You're just headache. A carrier. No strain. But but nothing. at the same time, you're still passing those respiratory droplets around. Yeah. So you have no symptoms, and then when people start developing the symptoms, they might get the a sniffles a little bit. They might what they what the, the main things that people are seeing is they have a fever. So you get a fever that happens, you know, and then at the at the same time. Um, you might get a a dry cough as well. So those are the main things that people see initially. Okay. And you could test positive and not have symptoms at all, ever? There have been cases like that where people, or maybe they didn't report it. All the cases that I've seen that have been positive with COVID-19 have all had symptoms. Okay. And tell me what the the testing process is like? Because there's been all types of new right, tests right, that have right. been introduced. I've heard of a 15 minute test, a five yeah, minute I, test. Yeah, I've heard about those. I, I can speak on the ones that we use at the hospital that I'm at. And um, basically we have to send it to an external laboratory and they have to do something called polymerase chain reaction, which it, it's, it's a process where they, you know, they extract the RNA from the virus and they have to, um, it, it actually takes a six, it's a six hour process from beginning to end. And you got to imagine all the people that, you know, are being ruled out for coronavirus and that being backed up. It's been taking about 48 hours, 272 hours. I've actually had situations where I had to wait a week before I even had a result back on a patient, which causes pandemonium because I got all these people coming in the hospital to rule out COVID-19 and they have to sit in the hospital for that long until the test comes back. Yeah. I mean, I know people that have gotten sick, have had coughs, have had temperatures, chest pains, whatever, they go to an urgent care or a hospital mm-hmm. and they just said, we're not going to test you. Right. And that's what's, that's where the trend has started going to. So in the beginning, when I first, when this first started coming into the hospital, everybody was in such panic mode because of what would have, they'd seen in Italy, China and things like that. So as we started getting it, we started admitting everybody at first. So if somebody comes in with a cough or a fever, they're getting in, you know, admitted and we're having to see them, which is, which is panic, panic for all us medical staff because we're looking at these patients coming into the hospital. We don't have enough beds. We don't have enough masks. We don't have enough equipment to see all these people and put them in isolation rooms. But then as, um, you know, as it progressed, we started narrowing the people that we're actually admitting to the hospital. Okay. So there's different types of tests. Right. Uh, is one of them a blood test or no? Um, the only test that I've seen happen is the nasopharyngeal swab. Okay. And they put it way up like yeah. in your brain pretty much. Like. Yeah, it's a little uncomfortable. Okay. Now, but I had heard that there's a new test that you don't have to go all the way up there where it has, doesn't have to be done by a medical professional where hmm. a, a regular person could just use a, a, the Q-tip and then okay. basically send it in. Uh, do you know anything about this? No, or? I, I haven't seen that. Okay, yeah. Utilized it. I, I read about it, but you know, okay. it might be still experimental and so forth. Are there new tests that are coming? This whole five-minute test. And They're so trying forth? to, um, you know, as soon as they implement or try to get something, we'll, you know, we'll definitely know the hospital staff where I'm working at in the hospital. But um, yeah. as far as you know, everything that's been that I've been seeing, it's just been that. Well, the thing with the five minute test also, it's a single test. Right. Whereas the other tests, they're like mass tests that are being done, whatever, 60, 100 at a time. Right. So the single test can only really be done at like the hospital itself. Yeah. And it's very limited. 